being a production company out of, out of Maui um, and being picked to go to LA where all the big guns are, it's, it's actually, you know, it, it's very humbling that, oh yeah, of all the production companies, hey, we're the guys in there doing it. We've been doing production work here in Hawaii uh, since the mid-80s. And in 1991, decided to really dive in there and create a jazz, blues, world music, and Hawaiian TV series. No one was really doing it anywhere in the world. Well, we're pretty well known in that niche in the jazz, blues, world music world. It's seen in over 80 countries and I am the host of it. We travel all over the globe to world music festivals uh, and shoot artists performing. We also produce Maui Fest Hawaii in Hana, Molokai, Lahaina, and Lanai. It's a film festival series that's all free and pure Hawaiian music, Hawaiian culture, award-winning films, and we've been doing this for eight years in these rural communities. Each year at our Hana Film Festival, we've had over 2,000 people, and we always have the nonprofits involved in each community, like the senior centers and the youth centers and the canoe clubs. Ohana Makamai does all the food with this Hana Senior Center and Hana Youth Center. But many of the local businesses support our festivals, like the Hotel Hana Maui Resort, the Four Seasons Resorts, uh, Dollar Rent-A-Car, Mokalili Airlines, the Westin. A lot of these local businesses see that we do have an impact. And we bring in some of the world's finest musicians as well. And we do production work, TV commercials, documentaries. We won an Emmy for our Kayla Beamer Kiwa Lu film. Projects like this help us get jobs with the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz. And now we pretty much get hired to direct and produce a lot of their TV specials. And filming at these beautiful venues with a lot of history and, and culture is it's always an exciting thing, you know, for a director producer to come in and working with some of the world's greatest musicians. Working with the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz out of Washington, D.C., I went to the Kodak Theater. They had some of the greatest trumpet players in the world competing for their $20,000 scholarship. Shooting at the Kodak Theater, you know, where they do the Academy Awards and the Emmys and stuff is, you know, for a director producer, us coming in, you know, we brought in seven uh, high definition cameras and kind of pretty much, you know, having the uh, run of the place and working with some of the great musicians that the Institute always brings in. You know, uh, some of the judges this year were Herb Alpert, guys like Sting, we had Huma Sakela, and then of course this year was a tie in with the tribute to Herbie Hancock, one of the great jazz legends. Bringing our Maui guys and some of you know some of the off island guys who work with me, but some of the guys in LA. I mean that's the most challenging thing. You go in there, and you know we kind of just go in there and do our thing. Yeah, we're you know we're from Maui and stuff, and you know they they look at us right away. It's like they put the walls up. Then you know the you know they check our background. Oh yeah, these guys are legit. They can do it, but they got the egos, man. <laughs> so once we get through all that stuff, after the end of the edit sessions, after we put it all together, you know we got a beautiful piece that we'll be able to share for generations to come. There's a synchronicity with all our DPs, our director of photography, uh, camera people, working with the lighting directors and the audio and getting everything just perfect. And then the editing process is a challenge as well, but uh, you know we have a great team and everything always seems to come together. And while the production is actually going on, we always have cameras backstage uh, doing interviews with the celebrities and the musicians. I think you know the blues is the root of it all. You know, if you really look at it. Um, if you go down to Mississippi and you like start digging through the jazz layers, you get to the blues. There's just no doubt that it's it's where it all came from. Out of the river. Yeah, the Mississippi. The mud. It's true. The primordial mud of the Mississippi. Seems like that's the blues always seems to come out of the mud. I think if I if I was uh, 
couldn't sing, for example, I'd probably have taken up the trumpet. Because I think it's closest to the human voice, that, that sort of emotional tenor that it has. So, uh, you know, you're lucky I can sing, Chris, because... <laughs> Uh, Chris can't really sing. <laughs> you say, you're right about that. When I'm there directing and stuff, and the stuff is all coming together, you just kind of know that, man, this is going to be a fun, nice, wonderful final product that we're, that we're capturing. For the future, you know, we're working with partnership with Mountain Apple Company, doing a Brother Nolan film. The internet and the way TV is going to be seen is with smartphones and that technology. It's just going to explode and hopefully we'll be right there, you know, on the cutting edge, contributing to this world of promoting Maui, Molokai, Lanai'i'ol in the Maui Nui area, and as well as a lot of the other islands. Oh,